Major General Ibrahim Atahir. Let me just say that the outgoing chief of army staff is somebody that we all know, is somebody that all of us seated here have worked with over the years. And all the challenges, all the shortcomings, all the achievements, we are all part and parcel of it. But if I may say, without fear of being quoted, I would say we've had a very eventful, a very successful, and a very uh, highly rewarding uh, period and tenure of office of the outgoing Chief of Army staff. Where are we going to start? Is it in terms of infrastructure? Is it in terms of training? In terms of operation? In terms of welfare? Improved welfare of officers and men and our families? One can continue on and on and on. Oh, are we going to talk of selfless service right in the front line almost all through the years. I think these are all that we are all witness to, which one does not need to start counting one by one. And when we talk of also reorganization of the Nigerian Army, establishment of formations and units, schools and so many other establishments that make for improvement in the way we perform our operations, in the way the army do business, in the way the army has laid the foundation not only to rely on budgetary allocation, but to start finding ways of not only surviving, but also in the nearest future, finding ways to even be a pillar of support economically to the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. If we want to talk in terms of research and development, are we going to talk of how many research based institutions that have been established? We can see what is being done in terms of uh, uh, manufacturing, especially of military hardware. So much has been done, and I believe all of us are witness to this. Having said this little, let me also mention something small about the incoming Chief of Army staff. I want to start right from the academy where the incoming Chief of Army staff was my roommate, and his classmate here will remember the story that made him to get the appellation, citizen. <laughs> and somebody that we all know, a professional, a no-nonsense person, and I would say, despite the size of the big shoe that the Chief of Army Staff, the great Chief of Army Staff is leaving behind, Major General Atari is a very robust senior officer whose legs are not only big or fat enough, but very, very able and ready to wear the shoes, not only to sustain the level of development, the level of competency that we have as of today, but also to add value and improve and also move the Nigerian army higher, both in terms of operational achievement, welfare, and all that make for development that will keep Nigeria to remain is an issue of art and the, 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 the leader in the fight to win all land battles for Nigeria, our dear country. Having said that, I want to create the indulgence of the outgoing Chief of Army staff as well as the incoming to humbly commend Mr. President for appointing a worthy successor to Lebanon General Tuku Yusuf Ratai and the person of our 
Amibu and reports later that I had a Ibrahim and Tahir, who, as I said before, I believe, with cooperation, support of all of us seated there, both those that are remaining and those that will be going, he would definitely take the Nigerian army to a greater act. I think on this note, I want to congratulate the outgoing team of army staff. These are farewell remarks as the outgoing chief of army staff. Today, Thursday, the 28th of uh, January 2021. So in this time around, I'm not going to make any joke. We we'll just go straight <laughs> to the business of the day. I thank Almighty Allah for a successful service in the Nigerian Army. I thank Mr. President, Commander in Chief, for the rare privilege on my appointment as the Chief of Army Staff and subsequent honorable retirement from the Armed Forces of Nigeria. I appreciate His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari, President Muhammadu Buhari, and also to my humble self while I served as the Chief of Army Staff. You are highly appreciated. May Almighty God bless you and reward you abundantly. Amen. I appreciate all the troops serving in the various operations, both at home and abroad. Very importantly, Operation Lafayette Dole, Operation Delta Safe, Exercise Sahel Sanity, Operation Safe Haven, and so many other operations. Your sacrifices will never go in vain. For our fallen heroes, I pray for their gentle souls to continue to rest in perfect peace. Amen. It was a long journey. A service for over 40 years calls for immense gratitude to Almighty God and to all those who supported this journey in one way or the other. I remain eternally grateful to President Muhammad Buhari for the great opportunity. It is the dream and aspiration of every combatant officer to lead his army, but surely only one comes at a time. All of you here and others not here are well appreciated. Going down memory lane is something of a miracle. I could have been retired from service 21 years ago. I was then a major in rank. I had the privilege of being sent off by my cosmates, but providence prevailed. Then, President Obasanjo had compiled our names in the year 1999 for compulsory retirement. My subsequent return and continued service until now is entirely by God's grace. Today's handing over ceremony and my retirement from service is historic in that I believe the Nigerian army will never be the same again. The military, the world over, is known for bureaucracy and efficiency. However, in most cases, bureaucracy has stifled initiatives and made rapid transformation slow in the Nigerian army. Today, I am proud to state that the Nigerian Army has been transformed into a professional, responsive, and truly apolitical and subordinated to democratic governance. I am proud that the Nigerian Army, under my leadership, had defended democracy in response to the demands of Nigerians. I am also proud that my vision for the Nigerian Army has been achieved. Exactly 66 months ago, I met my vision for the Nigerian Army as 
to have a professionally responsive Nigerian army in the discharge of its constitutional roles. I am therefore glad that today we truly have a professional and responsive Nigerian army. An army that has improved on its order of battle, training, operations, general administration, including welfare and logistics, with tremendous infrastructural development. We have also improved civil military relations, innovations, cyber warfare, and cyber security. We have improved the Nigerian Army Intelligence Corps through procurement of modern equipment. We today, we today have better intelligence and security through effective and efficient intelligence operations. Our interagency cooperation is first class as promoted through exercises like the Python dance, Goike, Crocodile Smile, Harbin Kunama, I Am Apatuma, and Sire Sanity, amongst others. With these exercises, the security situation across the country had largely been stabilized. Welfare of troops and their families have also improved with various welfare programs in empowerment, investments, and staff development. As I conclude this, my final address as Chief of Army Staff, I want you to remember me for three key issues of my administration as your Chief of Army Staff. I want you to also keep these three key issues as a guide in continuous improvement of the Nigerian Army. These key issues are not far-fetched. First, I want you to remember me for the improved professionalism of the Nigerian Army in the last five and a half years. Second, remember me for improved responsiveness to the training, operational, administrative, and logistic needs of the Nigerian Army. Finally, remember me for responsiveness to the Nigerian democratic imperatives. You must defend the Constitution at all costs. Yours is a sacred duty. You must remain a political. You will never go wrong if you follow these three key imperatives or principles for a professionally responsive Nigerian army. I must at this point pay tribute to my cosmates, members of the 29 regular corps. They stood by me all through the thick and thin. I could have left them behind 21 years ago, as I mentioned earlier. But Almighty God, in his infinite mercy, left me until today as the last man standing. As the last man standing tall, I'm proud to have represented the cause very well. I use this opportunity to also appreciate my family for their support despite my long absence as a workaholic chief of army staff. I leave you in good hands. I'm available for support and advice. I wish the new chief of army staff, Major General Ibrahim Atahiru, well. I believe his experience, knowledge, and wisdom will carry him along in the discharge of his tax diligently and professionally. I will put you in prayers and wish you a very successful tenure. To my patriotic media friends, I say thank you for your support. Thank you also for the isolated bashings. <laughs> it is a lesson and an entire school navigating the media terrain. The power of the media is real and historic. We all know the adage that the pen is mightier than the gun. My advice to the press is to ensure that national interest is put forth in all their reportage, analysis, and documentaries and commentaries. National security is number one national interest. 
to my very close aides and staff, I say thank you for your loyalty, commitment, and trust. To all the PSOs, the core commanders, general officers commanding, commandants, and all very senior officers, I say thank you for your patience with the workaholic chief of army staff. To you all, I say thank you and God bless you. Handing over of the insignia of command to the incoming chief of army staff. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Muhammad Buhari, for finding me worthy and appointing me as the Chief of Army Staff. I am equally inducted to the outgoing Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuriso Guratai, my boss and mentor, for making my nomination and subsequent appointment a reality. Sir, words cannot express my sincere appreciation. As your time in the service of our great nation ends today, all officers, soldiers, and their families, as well as the generality of Nigerians, will fondly remember you for your numerous achievements and legacies, which no doubt will outlive you. I wish to state but I also consider myself lucky to be taken over from you despite the very big shoes you are leaving behind for me to fill. In this regard, I will continue to count on your advice and support as I pilot the affairs of the Nigerian Army. On this note, I want to, on behalf of the entire Nigerian Army family, wish you well in all your future endeavors. Once again, thank you and God bless. <laughs>